CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today I'm going to teach you how to make these cute little Christmas tree ornaments. They are extremely rustic, very easy to make. This is definitely beginner friendly and they work up really quick. So these are lots of fun. So um, I do want to ask you, please like, share and subscribe. Hit that notify me bell before if you haven't already and please share. Sharing helps more than anything, and I really, really appreciate it, guys, okay? So let's get into our materials. So for today, as you can see, we're using these wooden beads. I've used these in a lot of videos. I got a big tub of them at Walmart, and they've just come in handy. They weren't that expensive either. I think they were like five bucks or something, which isn't bad for a ton of wooden beads, okay? I'm using, I'm also using twine for the top to hold these in place, and then I make a little bow at the top. So that's what I'm using, the twine, the beads, the yarn, that's it. I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook for this. Um, you will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle as well. Okay, so let's get into our tutorial. So we're going to make a slip knot and we're going to chain 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, and 60. Then you're going to chain two more. And then into the third chain from the hook, so one, two, three, you're going to put a half double crochet. And then you're gonna half double crochet in each stitch going all the way down. So just half double crochet in each stitch going all the way. Okay, so we're on our last stitch and we're gonna put a half double crochet in our last stitch here. And then we're going to cut off Leave enough so that you can work in. And then we're gonna work in both of these ends right here. Because this is a beginner video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to work in these ends. If you already know how to work in ends, you can fast forward through this. But all I'm gonna do is put this onto my darning needle. I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna work this in three times going back and forth. So I'm gonna go down once, again, twice and then I'm going to go back the other way to make sure it doesn't come undone. Remember I'm trying to stay into the back of my work not going to the front and then I'm going to cut off and I'm going to do the other side the exact same way. So now we have this long piece here and this is what we're going to use to turn this into our Christmas tree and all it's going to be is just going back and forth like this with your piece here just like that. That's all you're going to do so easy so much fun so that's what it looks like right there so what i want to show you is you're going to wrap one two three four five six and then over the top is seven so let's see one two three four five six so we know we need one more okay so we're going to go back and then this is going to go over right here okay over the end so that's how it's worked just like that. Now what I like to do is once I get it the way I like it, um, I'm going to put a stick pin going right through the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So I'm gonna use, um, what I like to do is use a stick pin, but I don't have my stick pins with me here on my desk. So anyways, that's what I like to do to try to hold this tree exactly where I like it. But I think it's gonna stay put right there, so I'm gonna leave it there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this one right here. I'm gonna go right through the middle. And then I'm gonna put the bead through my darning needle, and then I'm gonna pull up. Just like this. And then I'm gonna place this one here. I'm gonna go right here, place it right here. Go through the middle, put my bead on. And it looks a little weird, but it will come together. Push that down. And then again, I've got another one. I'm gonna go through here. Put my bead on here. 
and then I can fold this tippy top over <laughs> and I'll go through the very top here right close to the edge but not right on it and that's going to pull that together okay so that's what it looks like and then I'm going to go back through again so I'm going to go right beside where I came out not into the same place but right beside it and I'm going to go through my um, bead again going down this way just like this I'm going to leave enough at the top to make a hanger so that I don't pull all the way down through then I'm going to go through these beads again and this is just going to help it um, the Christmas tree have even more stability here and then through this bead and out the end Okay. And if you pull too hard, it will pull this down. So just leave it the length that you want it. Then I'm going to cut the bottom and I'm going to make a knot once and twice. And you can leave that hanging down. You can cut it really short you can do whatever you want with it I'm gonna cut mine a little bit just like that like it's almost like a little branch there and then I'm going to use my leftover twine that I have on my darning needle and I'm going to make a bow at the top Again, you can use yarn to do all of this. You do not have to use twine, okay? And then I'm gonna pull that to make it exactly the size that I want it to. I'm gonna pull down on it. And then you can either leave it super long or you can cut it, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna cut mine a little bit. And voila, you've got a beautiful little Christmas tree ornament. Now, also you could add little ornaments to this. You could add little sequins, you can add glitter. There's so much that you could do with this project. You could use Elmer's glue and stiffen it up. Um, if you wanted to, just put a layer of Elmer's glue on it. It will dry clear eventually. It'll leave a little bit of a film, but pretty clear. And when you could do that, you could also add glitter. So that's all up to you. Whatever you want to do, you can personalize this and make it all your own. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need any help or anything, don't hesitate to ask. You can find me on, obviously you can comment below on the YouTube section, but if you don't want to do that, you can also find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And I also have a Gmail. And if you're totally new to crochet and you want to learn how to crochet, there's a beginner video below that can help you with everything that has to do with learning to crochet. Okay, so I'll see you again soon, guys. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.